All right, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go over Alexander Volkanovsky remaining UFC's pound for pound. Top of the list, even after losing to Islam Magachev. How does this happen? I think some of you guys are confused out there. There is some uproar over this. So let's get into it. All right, so pound for pound, a comparison of fighters' skill levels regardless of what weight class they are in. Pound for pound is a ranking used in combat sports such as boxing, wrestling, or mixed martial arts of who the better fighters are irrespective of their weight. All right, so again, there's some backlash with Alexander Volkanovsky remaining UFC's pound for pound number one. So some clarification. So pound for pound is subjective and it's a title as you heard, regardless of the weight class given to a fighter that trumps other fighters as far as like ability, accomplishments, like who they defeated, skill, and so forth. The reason Volk remained number one is because of his amazing performance against Islam, who is a monster weight class up. If Volk would have gotten crushed, he would have been knocked down, he would have lost his spot as pound for pound. But since the fight was so damn close, so competitive, Volk's stock didn't drop. And rightfully so. The bigger test was Volkanovski fighting Islam, not the other way around. Islam is the bigger man, and in theory, he should be stronger and an uphill battle for Volkanovski to climb. The bigger challenge is for Volkanovski. It doesn't mean that Volk is the better fighter at 155 pounds if they square off, because they already did and Islam won. It means that Volkanovski is the better fighter overall based on his abilities and performances as a whole currently. It's like if Islam moved up to fight a big Walter that's a killer and a champ. Let's say Prime Kamar Usman. And let's just pretend that he's a lot bigger than Islam Makachev. Prime Usman, all pistons firing. If Islam being the smaller fighter puts up a crazy performance and almost beats Usman, but still lost, you would say, damn, imagine if they were the same size. Maybe not the best example because Islam's actually big and he might be around the same size as Usman, but I hope you understand the point in the comparison. Volk should have gotten beat. It was an uphill fight to begin with, with him moving up. So with the smaller man being current pound for pound and putting up such a great performance, where in some eyes he did win, he did beat Islam, he doesn't lose his pound for pound number one status. Makes perfect sense to me and seems fair. If you understand what pound for pound is and you understand the subjective nature, weighing in multiple factors and everything as a whole. Hey, Islam's number two and that's nothing to scoff at. He could very well be number one soon, especially if Volk gets crushed by your ear. But you got John Jones in the mix. He's about to fight Cyril Gon soon. We don't know what's going to happen with that. This pound for pound list, it fluctuates. But I hope it broke it down well for the people that are kind of upset. Maybe some of you guys are not really understanding what pound for pound means. I don't mean that in a put down. Some people might not. I'm cool with it. I mean, I was asked about it earlier. Shout out, Steve. I had to think about it for a second. And I'm like, yep, that sounds right. Volk number one, Islam number two. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. And until the next one, you guys take care.